For our first story today, it's been almost 50 years that underwater photographer Bob Semple has been capturing the fascinating sea creatures and shipwrecks that happen just off the coast of the HRM region. My name is uh, Bob Semple. I'm a, a photographer, an underwater photographer. I love to film uh, marine life. I've done it around Halifax area and also in many areas of the uh, world. I filmed some sharks around Nova Scotia. Um, one of the main sharks that we have here offshore is the blue shark, which is a, a sleek, very torpedo-like shark. I was on a project once where we'd go out off of Halifax and we would uh, film blue sharks. And I was uh, able to uh, get the shark when they uh, put a tag on the shark and follow it. And they use it for research to get the habits of the shark, which is not very well known to science. One of the, the rarer sharks we have off of uh, Halifax area on the east coast here is the mako shark, which is a very super fast shark, probably the fastest shark in the world. And uh, so I was filming off of there and uh, the shark took a liking to my uh, GoPro and ran right up and put its mouth right on top of my GoPro. Uh, it didn't scratch the lens, but it, uh, it gave a little bit of uh, great footage for the camera. We also have great whites off of Halifax, but it's, they're really rare and they're really hard to see. Um, I've filmed uh, great whites in, uh, with really, really good visibility, with uh, super, super visibility but I've also had the chance to film a great white in visibility of about eight feet. And in that case, the shark comes right out of nowhere, so right into your, into your camera. And it's a little bit unsettling at times. Of course, you'd probably think that filming great white sharks is a little unsettling anyway. Around Nova Scotia, sharks aren't the only interesting thing to film. At one time, we were, um, filming uh, squids and they were mating and laying their eggs and they laid one of the largest aggregation of uh, squid eggs I think probably known to science and uh, it was a huge huge pile of, of uh, eggs in that uh, in that pile of eggs it would attract predators and things that would like to feast on the eggs and you'd get various quite a variety of there was lobsters and sculpins and uh, manhadron fish and uh, all kinds of strange things would come in and feed. It was a very popular area for a very long time because the uh, eggs were in such great numbers. Halifax is also a very popular place for shipwrecks. It was a major shipping area and so we have shipwrecks from very many years ago uh, you know, and some of them of historic value. Um, one of the uh, one of the more interesting wrecks we have here is the one called the Kokosnik. It was a Russian ship carrying military gear, including army tanks. And it was, uh, it sunk uh, on the way into Halifax Harbor. And it is a fantastic shipwreck, one of my favorite shipwrecks to dive on. It's uh, got five army tanks sitting on the, uh, on the ocean floor. A lot of people don't dive. They don't know what it's like underwater majority of people probably don't see these things that um, that we see underwater so it's good to be able to inform people so I think in the community as well it's fun to be able to share that I'm not a professional I'm just a, a photographer who likes to share my information and get the people to know more about the underwater world and I enjoy that I, uh, I don't think we don't do it for the money we do it for the love of it you know If you'd like to learn more about scuba diving and the underwater world around the Halifax region, you can visit Torpedo Ray's Scuba Adventures to learn more about the diving community.